<laughs> Zanzan's getting naked. He can't keep his clothes on. <laughs> My light sticks. <laughs> BTS concert. <laughs> Don't forget to thumb this video. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm gonna be making some viral Korean TikTok recipes. Yummy. This first recipe has over 6.8 million views on TikTok and it looks delicious. French fried corn dogs are my favorite of all the newer Korean street foods. By combining warm water, sugar, and yeast and letting it sit for a couple minutes before mixing. Add salt and flour, mix until smooth and set aside to rise for one hour. Cut a potato into small cubes and soak them in water, then skewer your favorite hot dog or sausage links. Drain and pat the potatoes dry, toss them in cornstarch and a pinch of salt, then lay some panko breadcrumbs next to them. The batter should be doubled in size by now. Dip the skewer into it using a twisting motion to coat it as evenly as possible. You may need to use your fingers to move it around, just make sure the batter isn't too thick or too thin. Roll the skewer over the potatoes first, then roll it into the panko using your hands to firmly pack it in and shape the corn dog. When you're happy with the shape, immediately fry it at 350 degrees for 4-5 to five minutes. This is the color that we're looking for, then rest on a cooling rack and top with a sprinkle of sugar, ketchup, and mustard. Annyeong! It's Zen here! She's a little gamer girl. Okay, so we making this delicious street corn dog with patatas, potatoes. Okay, so let's make the batter first. First, I'm gonna add in some warm water. Open up my yeast. Oh my gosh. This is why I need a Zen in the kitchen. Adding in my yeast, and then the yeast can feed off the sugar. Give that a good mix, and then I'm gonna leave it until it gets a little bit like foamy or bubbly, so I know it's active. I need to measure my flour. Measure my flour, all-purpose flour. Next, I'm gonna add in my flour and a little bit of salt. Stir that up. Why does this feel like it's not enough water? I'm gonna add in more water. I think I need a lot more water. I'm gonna try to mix that until it's smooth like her one. It's so clumpy. I'm looking at her one and it looks pretty close. So I'm just gonna let that sit and rise. So I'm gonna set that aside for an hour. Hopefully it will puff up and rise. Whilst we're waiting for the batter to rise, let's prepare our sausage and cheese. So for these skewers, I'm actually using disposable chopsticks. And then I've got my sausages. These are smoked chicken sausages. Alfred actually chose these. Mmm, smells so yummy. Smoky. Gonna skewer that. You do need a bit of force. For cheese, I'm just using cheddar cheese, like these slices. Do we double cheese slice it so it fits? It just doesn't make it. We might have to overlap the cheese. How does she make it stay though? Or oh, maybe you just gotta squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh yeah. Oh, baby's kicking. She's kicking. Calm down, I know. I smell the smoked sausages too. Introducing my dinner. Oh no, don't eat me please. So here are my diced potatoes. These were soaking in hot water, so they're a little bit softer now. And I've just quickly dried them with a paper towel. So I'm gonna coat these in cornstarch and a little bit of salt. Let's have a look at the batter. Oh my gosh, she big, she big. Look at that, pretty good. You can see all the, like, the little bubbles here. I'm excited. I'm ready to dip this thing in. And then turn. Oh. Whoa. I need to like cover the sausage. Oh my God, it's so drippy. Okay, well the trick is to not get it too thick or thin, but I really don't know what the ratio should be. So now I'm gonna like roll it in the little potatoes. Pick some of that up. Oh my God, they're dropping off. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the panko crumbs. That is one fat dog. Next one, this is a little bit tricky to do guys, I'm not gonna lie. I need to like get enough of this batter to reach the bottom. It's a fat one. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, look at the size of this corn dog. It is massive. And when I was frying it, some of the cheese is oozing out. But now it's like a nice golden color. It's pretty crispy. So I'm gonna like apply apply sauce like it's skincare. I'm gonna pop some sauce on it. Usually you sprinkle a bit of sugar. I'm gonna skip the sugar because I I don't like it too sweet because ketchup's already sweet. I think ketchup and mustard will do. Oh my God, that was so big. Oh, this is not very pretty guys. <laughs> Not the prettiest sauce application, but hey, let's take a bite of it. Hopefully it's not too hot still. It's really good. Oh my God. It's so good. I don't know, is it just that smoked sausage or the ratio of like the batter, the nice crunch? Mmm. Wow. Guys, this is actually really good. This is something you'd buy. Can't believe we made this. Don't mind Zen if she's peeking in the corner. <laughs> Okay, I'm approaching the cheesy part. This is the moment of truth. Will it be a stringy cheese? Mm. A little bit. Okay, then you can come out of hiding. You need to eat one. <laughs> <laughs> totally missed. Then that concentration. Wow, so Check out wow. Alfred's one. Look at that sourcing skill from Zen. Zen wants hers plain. I want to try it. Please. She wants to try it plain. Okay, try it, guys. Mmm. Is this the sausage? The sausage is so yummy. Mmm. -hmm. It's really good. This is amazing. Mm. Wow. This is so good. Oh my god. The cheese. <laughs> It's like Zen's one's getting naked. Zen's one can't keep its clothes on. <laughs> keep your clothes on. Oh man, this is sick. Sick! This is fully sick, bro. I think the hardest thing about this recipe is just maneuvering that batter around so it's even. It's a little bit hard, especially when you're rolling it into the potato and then the breadcrumbs, like it starts moving and shifting everywhere and you gotta fry it immediately. That's the only tricky thing, but guys, it's delicious. Definitely recommend. Are we thumbing this up? Are we double thumbing this on? It's so freaking good. I think it deserves double thumb. Double thumb! Next recipe is one of my favorite street foods to eat when I'm in Korea. Add to skewers. White bathy oil, add soy sauce, ketchup, a little water to loosen it, rice syrup, this is kochujang, green red pepper flakes, and sugar. Add back your rice cake, brush with sauce, and let this caramelize. My favorite rice cake, tteokbokki. Is that how you say it? Tteokbokki, tteokbokki. So I'm gonna boil these first to cook them, and then I'll skewer them. So I'm gonna let that have a bath in its onsen for about like a couple minutes until it softens up, and then we'll skewer them. Sounds so evil. Ta-da! Skewer number one. It's a party! Let's get frying. We want these crispy. The dog dance. How would a dog dance? If I was a dog, this is me. I'm kind of like dog color, <laughs> plain dog. Your light sticks. My light sticks. <laughs> BTS concert. Now let's make the sauce. So she wipes off the oil. Soy sauce. Whoa. Water to loosen. Rice syrup. Kuchucha. Red pepper flakes. Sugar, sugar. Dun, dun. You don't got a brush. Look at these babies. Look at them. I hope they taste like the ones in Korea. <laughs> Mmm, 
The flavor is definitely there. Chewiness is great. I just wish it was a little bit crunchy on the outside. I think I should have like fried it for a little bit more, but it was kind of hard to get it evenly fried. So I think a hack could be like using an air fryer so you get that like all round 360 air fry effect. The taste is there guys. It's like sweet, spicy and chewy. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Our concert lights have turned into delicious dok. Wait, what's this called when it's like fried? <laughs> tokochi. Tokochi. Mm. This makes me miss Korea. I just want to go back and eat all the street food. The sauce doesn't taste like normal tokochi sauce. Maybe mm -hmm. because of the ketchup. This one is more sweet. Mm. If you prefer spicy, then put less ketchup and put more of the gochujang. Ooh, that chew, Delicious. that chew factor. Really good. I love this sauce. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> what? You have a nose hair sticking out. <laughs> I'm so sexy today, guys. I'm sweaty. I've got a nose hair sticking out. <laughs> it's on your nose now. The nose sweat and upper lip sweat is real. And the nose hair. Gotcha. Gotcha. If you love regular kimchi, I think you'll like this next one. So how you eat this is it's typically served as a side dish. You need eight Persian cucumbers. Half a tablespoon of salt to draw out the moisture. And this is all the liquid that has been released. We're gonna pour this out. Now we're adding the minced garlic, the onion, and green onions. This is goji garu, two tablespoons of that, two teaspoons of sugar, a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar, quarter cup of sesame oil, sprinkle some sesame seeds. I'm putting the cucumber, kimchi, and Tupperware and refrigerating for at least 30 minutes, but the best tasting would be overnight. Dun, 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 dun. Let's slice some cucumbers. Next, I'm gonna add some salt to it. Mix it and then just let it sit and that's gonna draw out the liquid. Okay, so after 10 minutes, here's all the liquid. I'm just gonna pour that out. And then I'm gonna add in my minced garlic, some sliced onions, and then some spring onions. I'm too lazy to use a spoon, guys. I'm just gonna sprinkle on the red pepper flakes. Yeah! Looks about right. In goes the sugar. Then I'm gonna add in some rice wine vinegar, some sesame oil, some sesame seeds, sesame bay. Where are my gloves? I have gloves somewhere. Haha, found my gloves. Now I'm gonna give that a good mix. It smells so good. Maybe I should have made more. I should have bought more cucumber. Now you're supposed to let it refrigerate for 30 minutes, but I'm just gonna have a sneaky bite before and then after just to, just, just cause I want to. Mmm. Okay. Okay, I'm definitely gonna wait because I feel like that was kind of mild. Let's pop it in the fridge. It's been like over an hour, guys. This kimchi has been sitting in the fridge doing its thing. Looks a little bit more wrinkly. Let's give it a taste test. Very refreshing. Very uh, mild form of kimchi. Like it doesn't pack a punch like your regular cabbage kimchi that's been fermented. It's just like a fresh kimchi. Love the crunch. I feel like I could have added more chili though. That's just that's just me. Overall, I think it's a good dish to have with like rice and then like with some grilled meats or whatever. It's like a nice side dish to have and it's like so quick and easy to make. Okay, Zen, try this. Mm. I think when you get a bit of like the spring onions and then the white onions, it gives it like a little bit more of a kick and then got like added crunch and texture and flavor. A side dish. Mm. Like cream barbecue side dish. Yeah, this is good, right? I should have made more. I think if you just want something in your fridge, you can leave it overnight. Yeah, tomorrow will be really good. We'll have this one for dinner. Thumbs up. You know when you go to a Korean barbecue and you eat the grilled meats wrapped in like the lettuce? Here's a recipe you can try at home. Bulgogi is usually the first Korean dish that people try, but honestly, I think it should be Teji Bulgogi. You can eat it with rice, but I highly recommend eating them as lettuce wraps. It really helps to cut through the fat and it tastes amazing with jalapenos and samjang. For the marinade, add gochugaru, brown sugar, garlic, gochujang, soy sauce, mirin, sesame oil, ginger, black pepper, and mix together until you get a consistency like this. 
I'm using thinly sliced pork shoulder, but you can also use pork belly. Add some sliced onions to this and mix it well. And you don't have to wait, you can start pan frying this right away with a little oil on medium high heat. Turn the pork over after a couple minutes, making sure the bottom doesn't burn, and just continue turning and cooking until it looks like this. It should take no longer than 10 minutes. After that, just garnish with some sesame seeds and chopped green onion, and that's it. I'm so ready to eat this pork bulgogi. Okay, so add in our red pepper flakes, brown sugar, some minced garlic, gochujang, soy sauce, mirin, sesame oil, ginger, some black pepper, and then I'll give it a good mix. Mmm, it smells really good. I don't want to taste it before I put the meat in. More, more. I got my thinly sliced pork here. I'm gonna add that in. We're doing a lot of onions because what am I gonna do with the scraps? And then I'm just gonna mix that all up until it's all coated nicely before we cook it. Okay, let's get ready to fry this baby. Who's ready to try this? Who's ready to eat? Okay, guys, this just looks so amazing. It looks so good. I feel like this is cream barbecue at its finest, but at home. Okay, let me get my lettuce wraps together. Pop a piece of grilled meat on there. A little chili. And I'm gonna do something extra and add a little bit of kimchi because I love my kimchi. Also, I have a bit of samjang, samjang, sam samjang, samjang, which is like a dipping sauce that you get at, at cream barbecues. But I'm gonna try it without first, so let's just like wrap it up. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This tastes like restaurant quality, guys. I'm not even kidding you. I've never made this in my life, but I was like, I would pay for this. I would go to a restaurant and order this, and I would pay for it. Mm, mm, mm. The pork, it's like spicy, but it's a little bit sweet. It's definitely got a kick to it, but it's not like unbearable, like spicy. I think it's like just enough spice. And then with the salads and the little like peppers, it just adds more texture. And then obviously the kimchi. I think it would be better with the dipping sauce, but we honestly don't need it if you don't want to. Come on in. This is so bougie, it's all gourmet. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Uh huh. Are you excited? Korean barbecue. Wait your turn, wait your turn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you gotta put some kimchi. I think it's a must. I don't know if it'll fit in my mouth. Zen, you could do this. Oh, that one's big. I don't know, <laughs> can you? <laughs> That's a big one. It might not fit. Doesn't fit. <laughs> uh -uh. You could do it, you could do it. Chew, chew, chew. We're getting the thumbs up, guys. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> she can't talk. I'll translate for Zen. She's saying it's really good. Yep, the flavor, the pork, really good, tasty. Yep. <laughs> Double thumbs up. <laughs> okay, Alfred, when you're ready, come on down. I'll make it for you, okay? I'll make it for Alfred because I'm that's I'm a good wife. Can you can you reckon you can put this in your mouth? Heaven, heaven, oh heaven on this leaf. <laughs> this is one way to shut them up, eh? Just roll them a big wrap and then they can't speak. I'll fix it. You alright? You want to do translation? For translation. Me? Okay, so Alfred's saying, oh my god, it's so good. Superb, superb. He's saying superb. Yeah, hands down, one of the best dishes I've ever made. <laughs> The flavors all there are. It's so good. Definitely try this at home. And I think it's like such a good like party meal as well. Mm. You can just have a big plate of this and then everyone just making their own wraps. I think it's actually really fun. I think like if you maybe put a little bit of less spice, your kids could eat it too. Yeah, it's got a bit of spice to it. It's yeah. got a kick. It's, it's got definitely a kick. got a kick. So if you want less spice, add 
add less chilies. Double thumbs up. I think this one is my favorite. Double thumbs. <laughs> what is this? Double thumbs. Okay. Double thumbs. This is like a corn dog. I'm trying not to be biased, guys, but I feel like all these recipes were amazing and maybe it's just because I love Korean food or maybe because it's just delicious and everyone agrees but all the recipes that I've tried today chef's kiss double chef's kiss I think they're worth trying out at home I'm definitely gonna make these recipes again did you see how impressed Alfred was not every day I get him to smile like that. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and check out some of my other TikTok recipe videos. I've got a playlist somewhere up there or in my description box for y'all. Don't forget to thumb this video and we shall speak to you guys next time. 